So let's say I wanted to differentiate y equals log of x squared minus 3. Now I know that using the chain rule, that differentiating log of a function, so if y equals log of some function of x, then dy by dx is equal to f prime over x over f of x. Okay? So I know that that process exists. So dy by dx of this will be the derivative of what's inside as the numerator and the original function as the denominator. So 2x over x squared minus 3. So if I had the integral of, let's say, um, 3 x squared over x cubed minus 5, okay, then what I need to think about and look for um, is, is the derivative of the denominator in the numerator, which in this case it is. So I know that this will um, integrate directly to log, really we should put it in a, in a modulus here, of x cubed minus 5, because it forces uh, that number, whatever it would be, to be positive. Okay? So that's really the concept here. You're looking to see if the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. And if it is, then you can use uh, reversing the chain rule to integrate it. Okay? So another example would be something like, um, let's say I've got 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 in the denominator. And I had, um, let's say, uh, just trying to do everything in my head, uh, let's say 32x um, take away 8 in the numerator. Okay? So if I've got that, then what I need to look at is that 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So if I differentiate that, I get 8x minus 2. Okay? So is 32x minus 8 a multiple of 8x minus 2? And yes, it is, right? This is four lots of 8x minus 2. So this must be four lots of log of 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus c. Because I know that that log, okay, will differentiate to 8x minus 2 over 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. And so I need to multiply by that by 4 to get it back to what I started with. Okay? So that's really the consideration here. We don't need to think about, right, well, uh, differentiating log like we would have done in the past. We just need to look at that denominator. We just need to consider whether that differentiates to a multiple of the numerator. And we're going to look at some examples of this in the next video.